I just think it's, I think it's a game. It's a huge game. It's a very messed up game. It's almost like a terraforming, the whole thing of COVID and like businesses being shut down, all retail, this idea of like not coming to work anymore. This, it's like a, a terraforming of our society within like a year's time. And it only seems to benefit one element of business, which is subscription service, internet businesses, major, major players that are not um, brick and mortar. So a lot of mom and pops, a lot of conservative companies are now reverting to being forced on the dole, requiring government assistance that they never would before, converting a bunch of people that were more libertarian to at least economically a more kind of socialist acceptance of I have no choice. It's scary. Imagine how long this is going to last. It's going into 2021. The vaccines from Moderna, et cetera, aren't going to be available to everyone. And that's the funny thing too. When they're available, how, are the rules still in place about limiting people in places? How do you justify that? Well, they're all of it. So all the vaccines are available, but you don't have to take one. It seems like there's going to have to be a mandate on taking the vaccine too. At least there has to be like uh, quotas reached of populations based on census data in different cities to allow those cities to be released into normal business operating practices. The mask thing makes so many people that spend money, discretionary income normally, they don't have it. They don't, uh, they don't, they don't want to go out and spend their money. They're sick of wearing a mask. It's exhausting. It's not fun to do that. And then the idea that they might have a new job where they stay at home instead of going to the office. Are you pooping again? Jesus. That whole thing is crazy too because they're going to get paid less money, which means less discretionary income, which means more staying at home and more brick and mortar businesses having less income, less revenue going in. Net, net. It's messed up, man. Blockbuster game of deception among us among us that allows you to hack the game that's embedded in the gameplay itself evidently has holes in its code which are unintended by the developers essentially allowing you to do whatever you want including becoming president of the united states and refusing to concede and maintaining your presidency into a second term illegally i'm just kidding no but it is funny that they have code elements in the game that were enabling players to go in and basically do that matrix thing mr smith take you over as a player like like absorb you become you replicate themselves all this stuff that was unintended basically kill everyone automatically with like by a press of a button that's in like the second imagine playing halo with 20 people and then you just can press enter and then they all die and you win oops that's stupid it's funny, it's amazing how people think of this though. I think it's a cool game probably to get into coding if you can see the code and it's based off of, I don't know, general coding paradigm, like uh, general coding language like Python or something like that. And you can just go into it and learn how to like, okay, this is what this says, what if I did this? Someone, like this game came out highly popular, blockbuster game, and then someone said, hey, by the way, I don't think developers know this, but I can just destroy and kill and win every single time. This is, this is like universal wins. This is, uh, this is too easy. It's weird how you, uh, I know game development is complicated and there's tons of like little nerdy kids, little like, you know, Ben Shapiro's are into coding, not, you know, not politics. But um, yeah, uh, I give Ben Shapiro our time. I think he's very intelligent and great. Um, but yeah, this is, it's too bad. It's also too bad that, uh, and related news, I guess, in some way. Um, Lil Wayne has been charged with possession of a weapon by a convicted felon stemming from a 2019 plane search in Florida. It makes you wonder how these things happen. There was that, uh, that girl that insisted she was an heiress to Samsung or something. Her plane, uh, she was moving marijuana with her boyfriend drug dealer to like Wisconsin. I guess one of the pilots was tipped off. But in this circumstance, it makes you wonder who tipped off the feds to search Lil Wayne's plane of all people. How many like investment bankers get their plane searched randomly? It seems a little, seems a little bias. But also they end up finding a gold plated gun. Wheezy, Lil Tanucci is, I think it's Tanucci. At least that's how I say it. T-E-E-N-U-C-H-I, Tanucci. I don't know. I, t I, I uh, contact him on Twitter all the time. He doesn't talk to me. I did it once have a, a thing, I, I had a daydream where he hits me in a Phantom Rolls Royce and then um, he feels bad about it. And then we cut an album together 
and he gives me like $10 million. To, like, he feels bad. I think that's great. Maybe I'm, I don't think I'm in a wheelchair. I think I, sur- I can f- completely recover. So I'm not like a rapper that's like paraplegic, which would seem like difficult because the diaphragm vocal cords. Anyways, um, Wheezy's lawyer, as a statement, asserted there's no allegation that Lil Snoochie is a dangerous person, adding that Supreme Court has not decided constitutionally this question. However, Amy Coney Barrett recently wrote an appellate dissenting opinion in which she stated, absent evidence that he either belongs, he, I guess, the, the individual, the, the defendant, to a dangerous category or bears individual markers of risk, permanently disqualifying a convicted felon from possessing a, a, a weapon is a violation of the Second Amendment. There's a lot of things we have in our society about this that are controversial. Uh, like these wide, you know, like that is, that does seem weird. Uh, a white collar criminal, is Lil Wayne really going to start murdering people given he's a multi, multi millionaire? Like, is he going to end up shooting people on his own? He'd hire people to do it. You can charge him differently. It makes no sense. Um, the, the idea of being a rapper and, and kind of uh, the persona, the entertainment persona and where he comes from, conflating that with the person is kind of racist. It's kind of messed up. He's obviously not a gangbanger. Um, he's an entertainer. It's a game. Um, Tupac, you know, went to ballet school and, and art school. It, like part of his persona was was like a facade. It's a game. Um, so yeah, I think that's a, uh, I think that's a that's a thing that needs to be talked about more. Um, I don't know. It's 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 definitely a problem. Fifty Cent dress allegations in Instagram insisting a rapper get Trump on the phone before he leaves office. Uh, sure, why not? 50 Cent was also the same person that was propositioned by Chelsea Handler, his ex-girlfriend, that if he elected not to vote for Trump, she would sleep with him. Of course, no one said anything about that, that blatant prostitution. Uh, He ended up flipping his thing and saying, fuck Trump, I guess, to get some uh, ex-pussy. I don't know. Sorry, is that okay? Can I say that? I don't know. Um, But ultimately, he originally stated that he didn't want to vote for Biden because he didn't want to pay, you know, 40%... 44% income tax. Legitimate claim. I mean, like, like from, from uh, substance, you know, um, the, the, it's, yeah, why would you want to pay more in taxes? You know, vote for Trump. What, what benefit does Biden give you? You know, like he's, uh, you're, you've made it, you know, despite your bankruptcy and everything like, you know, whatever, you seem to still have money coming in, income stream, vitamin water, you're good. So fuck, you know, the whole Biden thing and like rising up and helping people that can't help themselves and whatever else, you've made it. Um, no reason to vote for Biden. Um, the catch 22 of Biden's whole thing is that if you keep giving people free shit, will they ever rise up? You know what I mean? Like it kind of dilutes the ladder, right? Like the ladder just keeps extending. So you keep thinking you're climbing, but it's fake steps because everyone's getting a handout.